So I think it's common knowledge by now, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we all know this. Anyway, it's ingrained within our lovely, woke, stunning, brave society that any awful event that happens now and definitely in the future is a direct result of a white person or white people. Truly, I know, it doesn't even matter what it is any longer, you know, somebody could break down in their car and they'd be screaming, this is all a white person's fault, aliens could come down and wipe out half the planet and somebody probably in California or something would be screaming, this is a direct result of white supremacy. However, up until that event happens, we all know there is this notion, this idea that we can blame white people for absolutely everything, right? We see it all the time. White people are the worst of the worst. Somehow this has become a normalized thing. It's like a universal law we can mock and degrade white people at every chance we get and the left and the media they love it and they amplify it whether it's disney and their reboot of the proud family where literally every single scene is talking down to white people or it's this new clip going viral by the cut where they literally sit people down and ask them what are white people superior at the fact somebody had the idea the epiphany to sit people down and ask them that question is bizarre to me. It's completely beyond anything I thought would ever happen. Just imagine, right, and this is all I'm going to say before we get into the clip, imagine if this was the other way around. They posed the question the other way around. Oh yeah, there'd be huge uproar, worldwide uproar. People would be getting banned, fired, cancelled, left, right and centre. If you took part in it, you would lose your job. I'm not exaggerating, I'm not, I'm not joking again, right? That literally happens. Anyway, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy this lovely, stunning, and brave clip going viral right now. What are white people superior at? <laughs> what exactly are white people superior at? They're real good at violence. Violence? Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white, and you know this is happening, and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. What exactly are white people superior at? Insecurity, pretending, fear, being fearful of nothing, being ignorant, blame, letting their egos control their every move, superior at being dicks. What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression, gaslighting, lack of empathy, intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? What exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there, taking shit, taking our ideas, copycatting, gentrification, appropriating things that do not belong to them, taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as repurposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma was saying, them white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good at upholding white supremacy. How about claiming that, you know, they are actually a whole separate race when actually white DNA comes from the black female. So what exactly are white people superior? At? Honey, lying, stealing and cheating. Manipulation. Withholding information. Lying. Telling lies. Right. No, oh, it, it makes total sense. It really does. Look, I've already said, man, imagine if this was the other way around. If they posed this question the other way around, there'd be firings, there'd be bannings, there'd be boycotts, there'd be cancellations everywhere. But these people, they're called stunning. They're called brave. People clap for these sort of answers. People clap for the question being asked. Tell me this, how does the average white person, a younger white person, not come away from that clip watching that clip and hating themselves and their own skin and then on top of that they will go and project that onto every other white person we have white people telling other white people that they're awful this is what happens when woke ways of thinking and critical race theory have such a tight grip on society we all know they are literally teaching critical race theory in schools Critical race theory is essentially just being anti-white. It is anti-white propaganda. Kids are being brought up with the idea that white people are truly evil, even in today's world. Is it any wonder people are turning, turning out the way they're turning out? We are literally raising a generation and then future generations based on hate and resentment. Clips like this and critical race theory are telling people if they're white to hate their own skin. If you're white, everything is bad. You are awful. And then if you question that, if you dare question that, if you question clips like this, if you question schools teaching people those sort of ideas, well, what happens? We all know, I say it many times, you're the evil one. In this case, you're the racist one. And if you're white and you don't like the idea of it being taught, well, that's just white fragility. There is literally a buzzword for every question 
you ask. They create these buzzwords so they put you in a state of silence. So you can't question it. So what we're going to do is, right, instead of teaching people history, learning from history, teaching people basics right from wrong, what we're going to do is we're going to punish a generation that had nothing to do with anything whatsoever. And then on top of that, we'll make them feel bad about it and we'll forcefully make them see the world in a certain view and have certain beliefs. And you'll tell them they're happier for feeling that way. Don't worry, kids, if you're white. I know your skin's awful, but you'll be happier if you hate yourself. Well, clearly not, because most of these people are so angry all the time. And I've just realized I'm not really supposed to be thinking like this, am I? I mean, I'm a younger person. I'm supposed to be agreeing with those people. It's happening in the UK. It's not only America. Don't you worry. You're not alone. Look at this clip that came from the UK. When I saw this, part of me was shocked and then part of me wasn't surprised. Take a listen. What are straight white men good for? Straight white men? Yeah. Not a lot. What are straight white men good for? Ooh, that's a hard one. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think straight white men are important? No. <laughs> <laughs> We're all <laughs> trash. That's England, ladies and gentlemen. What are straight white men good for? Uh, being rude and um, making you feel uncomfortable. Do you think they're important? No. So what would you say they're good for? Um, what do you think they're good for in society? If they give them their bank card, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to announce that we are uh, truly in the end times. We are, all jokes aside, you know, this makes me more sad than anything that we are literally consciously now leading a generation down this path, a large populace down this path. We're telling them, well, we're not. People are selling lies to them as many lies get sold these days with woke progressive movements, that life is better, life is happier when you start hating everything, even if it's your own skin. You see, the thing is, the progressive movements the woke, the left, they genuinely feel like utopia is on the horizon. If we get everyone thinking our way of thinking, utopia is here. It is not, it's not going to end in this stunning and brave world they think it's going to end in. How can you build a new world on hate and resentment and the world will crumble? Your new world will crumble. And there'll be loads of tears, a lot of tears, so much so, the shelves will be out of stock with tissue paper once again. But anyway, you know, that is the end of today's episode. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek into the future, the future of this world. It, it does look bright. It really does. If you have enjoyed today's video, then please, for me, make sure to leave a like rating. If you're new, hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please, for me, make sure to always, always have a great day and stay safe. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say thank you so much for 30k. Like, that is amazing. I never thought I'd reach 30k so quickly. I thought it'd be a slower process. I can't thank you enough. When I saw that number, I was, I was shocked. I was so happy. I screamed like a little boy at Christmas. I really did. Thank you so much. But until next time, it has been your boy JD. Please for me, make sure to always, always have a great day. Stay safe. I'm out. Peace.